Our first lesson is on computers and information. So what is your personal definition of information? Take a moment, pause the video, and add your definition as a comment on this slide. So computer science is commonly thought of to be the study of computers themselves, the physical machines we have in our desks and we carry around in our pockets. But computer science is the study of information and information processes to solve problems. Computer scientists are problem solvers. In this lesson, we're going to think about what information and information processes mean. Take a moment, pause this video, and watch the video on the slideshow. And when you're watching the video, think about the four processes that all computers perform. And what role does information play during these processes? So now let's talk about the physical devices that make up a computer. And those physical devices are called hardware. And we're gonna talk about the CPU, output devices, memory, storage, and input devices. So the CPU, also known as the central processing unit, is the part of the computer that runs the programs. So when you start up, um, word or a game on your computer, it's the CPU that is executing all of the instructions to run that program. The CPU is also referred to as the processor, and without a CPU, a computer cannot run software. Running or executing a program is the term used when the computer performs the tasks the program tells it to do. Main memory is considered the computer's work area. A computer stores the program that is running as well as the data, commonly known as random access memory or RAM. And data is quickly accessed in this area of the computer, and it's also a volatile type of memory. So that means that it's only used temporarily and that when the electricity is turned off to the computer, that anything that was in memory is now gone. Secondary storage is a type of memory that can hold data for long periods of time. So any programs that you install on your computer or any documents that you may store on your computer are stored in secondary storage. And we have different types of secondary storage that we use. We use disk drives, solid state drives, USB drives, optical drives, and cloud storage. So if you're storing your information up on Google Drive, you're using cloud storage. Any data the computer collects from people and from other devices is called input. It's information that's put into the computer. The hardware component that collects the data is called an input device. And common input devices are keyboards and mice, touch screens, scanners, microphones, and digital cameras. All of those hardware devices give information to the computer. Output devices. So any data the computer produces for people or for other devices is called output. The hardware component that formats and presents the data is called an output device. And monitor, printers, and speakers are common output devices. How do all of the hardware components talk to each other? There is a piece of software on your computer called an operating system that manages all of the input devices and output devices and executes the programs when they are run. So take a moment, watch this video, and then continue on to lesson two.